surprising what you can get just on one bush but I've had numerous butterflies today and two species in particular and they are red admiral and comma in fact there's been more comma on here than red admirals the key attractant to those butterflies being on this bush of viburnum lantana are the berries here these berries are now starting to go over they're over ripe but just what both comma and red admiral are after and i've had a good three quarters of an hour stood here enjoying these wonderful butterflies two of our butterflies that are commonly found on fallen fruit I don't think that throughout the UK anywhere we have a much more beautiful autumn sight than this butterfly although technically we aren't quite into autumn yet at least not astronomical autumn but the sight of red admirals feeding on fallen fruit or on the decaying berries of this viburnum has to be just one of my favourite sights fallen fruit is great if you're not going to eat your fruit and you're fortunate enough to have an apple tree or a pear tree or plum or damson in your garden let those fruits fall and leave them for the wildlife and you'll be treated to sights like this a pristine red admiral what more could you wish for red admirals are continuing through south in small numbers it's 13th of september as i film this but there are many red admirals still going about the daily routine females looking for somewhere to lay and many others doing exactly this feeding on these decaying berries it is a beautiful beautiful butterfly and a fabulous sight just the coloration i know i've said this before but the coloration and markings of red admiral were designed by a real specialist in mother nature she had a good day and was happy in her work when she designed a red admiral it's a fabulous butterfly. And this one's been especially confiding. At any time, this butterfly could suddenly set off south or southwest. Could be today, could be tomorrow or next week. It will make some attempt to move south to some degree. But for now, it's happy feeding itself for the next part of its journey, probably in preparation for it, or it may well stay here and hibernate if the autumn and coming winter are conducive for it to do so but just look at the colours on that I think the simplest markings are always the best the ones that use fewer colours what we've got here predominantly black an orangey red white and in parts just a hint of blue on the edges of the wings Yes, it's very different from underneath. The hind wings are very cryptic in their coloration. And certainly the underside of the hind wings give no indication of what's to come when the butterfly opens its wings. It's a stunning species, the Red Admiral. And 2023 is an absolute bumper year. I think the best year ever 
I have no doubt in saying it's the best year that I can remember and I've been here 60 years and tucked away just beneath the Red Admiral I've just showed you is this comma unfortunately feeding in the shade but the comma is another of our nymphalids that can be found during the autumn on fallen fruit or as in this case on these old decaying viburnum berries the comma is as beautiful in its own way as the red admiral I do like commas are orangey, fulvous brown. It really is, I suppose, more orange than brown, but edged in brown. Just look at that. Oh, and look at the wings. The edges of the wings, they look tattered. But for some reason, nature has decided, no, we're not having ordinary wings. We're going to scallop these. When the butterfly's wings are closed, the reason for that apparent tattiness to the edges of the wings becomes clear because it helps to blend in amongst the leaves provides brilliant camouflage you tend not to get commas overwintering in old buildings that tend to be in the hollows of trees or hollow branches and in more natural cavities it's a glorious thing the two glorious butterflies on this same viburnum and as I say that it comes to try and find a bit of sun the comma's quite a remarkable butterfly and this is one of those butterflies that has suffered greatly over the course of time many many decades ago this butterfly was once common but then its range contracted to an area along the Wire Valley if I remember right it remained like that for many years and then all of a sudden progress was made the butterfly started to spread I remember seeing it as a child one had gone indoors in my next door neighbor's house that was the first time I ever saw it and I was quite excited but apparently it ended up under somebody's shoe and then I remember Gary Wilson in the early 1980s racing up to my house being so excited because he'd just seen a comma but unfortunately it had evaded capture and now we look today this is a very common butterfly that spread once again right up through Nottinghamshire and right up through the UK so there's a massive success story and everybody forgets how it once contracted and showed a huge decline in its range much like how some butterflies have done since or as is claimed are doing now this butterfly did all that and has come back and come back in better numbers it's now a very common butterfly has been for 30 years or so but it's an absolute belter of a butterfly. Just look at that. It is classed as brown, but the lighter markings are more orange than even a fulvous brown to me. There are darker dots on it. It can, to some people, appear slightly reminiscent of large torchel, and I can see that in terms of actual darker markings and spotting. But large torchels are much larger than this chap here. But what is the ultimate identification feature are the scalloped edges to the wings. No other UK butterflies like this. It's an absolute stunning thing. And I've just noticed this individual here has a tiny blue spot on the edge of the forewings. Right where that crescent cutout is and the wings so to speak, there is a tiny singular blue dot, one on each wing, and I've not seen that before in a comma, or at least I've not noticed it. This one, 
now enjoying this afternoon sunshine here at Ollerton Pit Woods. It's been feeding on the Viburn and Berries and is now having a break and resting on this oak. But what a beautiful butterfly. You wouldn't have thought that one single Viburnum lantana bush would provide so much entertainment, but it has. I've loved this last hour, and I've spent most of this last hour just looking at two very common species, red admiral and comma. Two run-of-the-mill butterflies, really, in terms of rarity value, but absolute beauties when you see them close up. And the butterflies on here have been so engrossed in feeding that they've barely reacted to me at all and they've offered me some really nice close approaches and that's nice it's not all about rarities getting close to anything or being allowed by anything to get close is quite uncommon and quite unusual and when that happens it pays to make the most of it <laughs> 